Hey, I'm glad we're going this way. What road are we on? I don't know. Where do we need to be? I don't know. Where are we going? I don't know. We haven't decided yet. We haven't. We should maybe decide before we find out we gotta go that way. Okay. So for those who don't know, this summer commemorates the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg! That's the Civil War! Over the course of the week, I did many exciting things, but I did not traverse these adventures alone. In fact, I went with my girlfriend. We had a wonderful time. We could see several things like infantry people walking around, artillery guns going off, big boom booms, exciting stuff like that. Yes? Hey, what's up? Oh, hi. Um, ha. Are you even recording? Yeah. Just doing a vlog thing. Oh, that's so cool! Can I do it too? I, what are you doing it about? A trip to Gettysburg. I went! Yeah? I told them that you went. Yeah? So? I want to be a part of this! What can I be a part of your life? I did this! Can I please, 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 please help you? Fine. Yay! We went to Gettysburg. Mm-hmm. And had fun. Mm-hmm. Like that. Tell me about our first day. Tell you about the first day? You were there. Tell tell me so you can tell them. Why don't we tell together? Okay. Day one, traffic wasn't awful. Our mission was to see the last Iron Brigade thing. We thought that there was a battlefield thing going on. Someone got the wrong time. Hi. So... We ended up watching the Iron Brigade charging from our bus, which actually was really nice because I'm five foot two. I probably wouldn't have seen it as well if we weren't on the bus. We went to the Confederate camp to see big guns being shot up. I was really excited about that and got some really cool footage too. Also known as cannons. Yes. <laughs> big guns. Like this. Big gun. Fire by peace. Number one gun, fire! Number two gun, fire! Number three gun, fire! Cease fire. Ironically, I decided to stand right next to the loudest cannon, which is Kate's favorite. Oh yeah. Because I have such sensitive ears, it was so much freaking fun! <laughs> well notice, also, this one on the end here is just a bad loud. Oh, by the way, on a side note, if you're in loud places, don't go like this. It makes the pressure in your ears worse. So the best thing to do is actually open up your sinuses and go. <laughs> <sighs> um, we also ended up driving around Gettysburg and um, drove to all the different memorials. Some super genius put Confederate flags at all the different um, Southern memorials. And during our excursions, we also saw the plane with the Eternal Light Peace Memorial. Hello, bus. I'd seen it before as a child, but I could never quite appreciate it the way that I did that day. But that certainly wasn't the end of our journey. We were at General Reynolds' death spot at the exact time he died. 150 years after his death. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like General Reynolds. I look like his girlfriend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say, tell the story about John Reynolds. Tell oh. the cool thing about John Reynolds. See, John Ren Reynolds. Reynolds, I can't talk. John Reynolds died about a couple minutes after he got to Gettysburg at the, on the first day. He had a girlfriend back home, and after she found out he died, she became a nun and was never heard from again. I kind of look like her, apparently. At least I did whenever I was a kid. It was really weird. So, I like General Reynolds. She also looks like Anne Frank. On an unrelated note. Kind of. Different war. Wait, where's your copy of Anne Frank? I found it. <laughs> Wait. Ta da! <laughs> Hate bookshelves sometimes. Uh, yeah. And we got pictures of ourselves looking BA on cannons. I look more dorky than BA. I can't cap Captain Morgan a cannon. I can't Captain Morgan a cannon because my legs are too short. Cannons. Cannons. Me. Me. I am wearing pants. <laughs> um. What else did we do that? Oh yeah. The exciting thing about remember the uh, the lice race that he was talking about in the Confederate camp. I mean yes, Confederate. Yeah, it was Confederate camp. Um, soldiers got bored because it, it, throughout the year you'd probably only fight maybe two weeks if you're lucky. So they'd have lice races. They'd pick lice out because, you know, hygiene was not super fantastic and race lice. They'd put them on a pan and they'd see which one could get across their pan the fastest. Apparently one guy actually found a way to cheat with his lice race. He heat up the pan. 
Yes. And that lace wouldn't get off that pan as fast as it possibly could. And the guys at the Confederate camp asked us, how do we know this? My response was... My just like that. My response, diaries, letters. She was right. Women usually are. During our time at the Confederate camp, we saw various interesting things. The chocolate they had wasn't the milk chocolate. Hershey's invented the milk chocolate about 20 years after the Civil War. We saw the kinds of foods that they would have within their daily rations, including hardtack, and also saw the kinds of instruments they would use when dealing with wounded soldiers. One of the myths about Civil War medicine is that they did not have anesthetics. That's not true. They used chloroform. Chloroform was the number one primary anesthetic. Yowza. And we learned a unique fact about coffee. One of, one of the things that had with coffee is they knew way before the Civil War you shouldn't drink the water unless you had an artesian well, you got sick. So they, they said, you know, you could actually drink coffee. It was okay. So infants drank coffee. Didn't realize it was the boiling. They thought it was the, uh, the coffee itself. So basically during this time, they realized that water would make you sick, but for some reason coffee would not. At the time, they believed that it was because of the coffee that the water would be purified, but it was not actually the coffee itself. It was the process of boiling the water to prepare the coffee. Had they known that, they could have just given infants water after it was purified from the process of boiling rather than actually giving them coffee. Woo, baby's own caffeine.